Hey guys, what's going on? This is TNC Vids, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a logo in Pages. Um, a lot of people wouldn't think you can make a logo in Pages, but it turns out you can, and today I'm going to be showing you how. Um, this isn't super professional, but it actually turns out to look pretty nice. Um, it's not anywhere near something like uh, Cinema 40 or um, you know Photoshop. But if you don't want to spend all that money or take up all that space downloading, this is the way to go because it actually turns out looking very nice. So what you're going to want to do is open pages and go into a blank landscape. And just kind of double tap to open. So once we have that open, we're going to go down to our shapes. And you can choose any shape you want, but I'm going to go with a rounded rectangle. And then if you hold down shift and you make this bigger, you can make it any size you want, doesn't matter, but I would probably say the bigger the better, because then you can see um, everything you're doing. Um, and then we'll just put it, doesn't really matter where you put it on the screen anyway, because what we're going to be doing is taking a screenshot of this, and it turns out really nice. So you'll see at the end, but just follow along. Um, so once you have that, we're going to go into our inspector, and you can choose a color fill, but if you want a kind of cooler look, in my opinion, I'm going to go to an advanced gradient fill, um, and you can either do this one where it's a, uh, a linear um, gradient fill, then you can do that one, but I like this circular gradient fill. Um, and then you can move this around where you want it and choose the colors and everything. Um, so for my first color, I think I'm going to be doing a, I think I'll do a cyan kind of blue. And then for the circular, I think I'll be doing a yellow, no, a lime green. Yeah, that's, that looks really nice. Um, and... You can play around with this, uh, adjust the size, um, but for now, I'm going to put that up kind of in the top right corner. That looks really cool. And you can play around with the size right here. That looks pretty cool, okay. So once you have it how you want it, I'll put it right there. Um, once you have it how you want it, you can choose a stroke. I like to use this one. And then I make it to about a 13 point. Okay, that looks pretty good. Visible, but not too big. Um, and then I'm going to add a shadow. And you can adjust the size. I'll put it about there. That looks nice. And then you can adjust the angle right here. And we'll put it right there to make it look like the uh, the lights coming in kind of this way. Um, you can adjust the uh, opacity and the blur and everything. I'm not going to mess around with that. Then you can also add a reflection, but I wouldn't suggest that doing a logo. It just doesn't turn out very well. Uh, so once you have it how you want it, just kind of skimming through here. If you take your time, it'll look a lot better than mine turns out. But go into your text inspector and you can choose the color you want I'm gonna do an orange which will look really nice uh, find the right orange color there we go that looks cool okay and then we're gonna click on here oops okay and now we can start typing uh, so I'll put T and C, well, T space and C, and then we're going to highlight it, and we'll put it to 64. Depending on how big your logo is, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put it at 64. And then I'm going to highlight, right click, and choose font, show fonts. And I have this really cool font called GameCube, and you can download this. Uh, off the internet, just search GameCube on Google, you'll find a download. Just type in GameCube font. Um, and then, so that that's the font. It's pretty pretty cool looking. Um, 
and then you can mess around with how you want it to look. So I think it looks pretty cool, kind of like this. Put it like this. And we'll adjust it just a little bit more. That looks really cool like that. And then you can, you know, adjust with all this junk, the margins and stuff. I'm not going to, uh, because I just want to make this video kind of short. But I'll say that's my finished product, and it looks really nice. So basically what I'm going to do is hold down Command, Shift, and 4. And you'll get this little cursor that comes up, and you're going to highlight it like this. And do it to about there and put it to how you want it and then go like this just let go it took a screenshot of that logo so now I'll just minimize this and we'll go into here and there's our logo you just took a picture of it and basically uh, what you can do is go into YouTube go to your Account, go to settings and I made this one um, a couple minutes ago but I'm not gonna change it um, I'll just leave it uh, but then you just click change one second something's loading I don't know what all right then you can click change click change picture choose file and just choose that screenshot um, I'm not going to change it right now, but that's how you make a logo in Pages. I hope you guys like this video, and if you if it helped you out, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, JKB for me. Um, he's just getting started on YouTube, and he's got some great videos. He's doing app reviews for the uh, iPod and everything. So. Um, just go to his channel, uh, subscribe to him, and I'll be putting the link to his channel in the description. So again, thanks for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe to me, TNC Vids, and JKB for me.